Hey, I'm Darlene, and you're watching episode 2 of the Fix My Drawing series, where I take common drawing mistakes and walk through possible solutions with you. In this episode, let's look at how to fix eyes that were not drawn symmetrically, as suggested by Paulo Austria. Let's hop right in. The first step is to pick your favorite eye, so we can use it as a baseline. My favorite is the left eye, so I'll be making changes to the right eye. To fix this asymmetrical drawing, we'll need a long, straight object. You can use a pencil, a ruler, or even another piece of paper. Let's try doing it with a pencil first. This is the tool I recommend out of all three, because I think it will help you develop your seeing skills a lot faster. But it may take a bit of practice to get a hang of. The idea is to hold the pencil parallel to the paper's edge. Hover your pencil in front of the drawing to see which areas of your drawing are not aligned with one another. Once we do this, mistakes will immediately become apparent. For example, we can clearly see that the outside corner of each eye are not aligned with each other. And we can see just how much we need to move it up or down so that they match. Move your pencil up and down along your drawing to check the horizontal alignment of other areas, like the eyelid crease, for example. It's important when you're doing this to make sure that the pencil remains level or parallel to the paper's edge. This is assuming that your subject is drawn straight on instead of at an angle. Here, we can see just how much higher the left eyelid crease is than compared to the one on the right. It will take some practice to get used to using your pencil in this way. I currently have this drawing laid out flat on my desk because it's the most comfortable way for me to draw while recording. But I recommend doing this with your drawing in an upright position so you can hold your arms straight out in front of you at eye level. You can also hold the pencil vertically to check the vertical alignment of the different areas within your drawing. Let's switch back to the overhead view. Again, hold your pencil as perfectly vertical as you can so that your measurements are as accurate as they can be. You can use the edge of your paper as a reference. For this example, I'm checking to see how each eyebrow aligns with the eye below it. You can see that the left eyebrow extends about 3 millimeters out from the corner of the eye. But when we look over here, this eyebrow needs to be extended much more in order to match the other one. I'll get back to this in a moment. Make the appropriate changes to your drawing as you go along, checking and rechecking the horizontal and vertical alignment of the various elements that make up your drawing. If you want to improve your drawing symmetry, accuracy, and your seeing skills, you can measure and compare down to the tiniest detail. You can also do this with a ruler. The ruler's edge can be aligned directly to the edge of your paper for a more accurate placement. A transparent one is extra helpful, allowing you to still see the entire drawing as you move the ruler up and down or right and left. Another option is to use another piece of paper. A big piece will provide you with the highest level of accuracy because once you align it to the edge of your sketchbook, you can immediately tell if they're not properly aligned. Okay, now that we've gone over the possible tools that you can use, let's actually fix this drawing by making the appropriate changes to the eye on the right. Remember, the left eye is my baseline. I want to check the eyelid crease first, so I've aligned the edge of my tool right up against it. Now that I have a solid horizontal line all the way across my drawing, we can see that the right eyelid crease is almost half a centimeter too low. I'm going to make a small tick to mark where the crease should be in order for both eyes to match. Now, 
Now I always draw the crease last, so I'll get back to this in a moment. Now let's check the outside corner of the eye. Now that is quite a big height difference. I'll have to erase it and draw it a little bit higher so it matches the other eye. Let's erase more parts of the eye that need to be redrawn. Now I haven't checked the horizontal alignment of the top eyelid yet, so let's do that now and draw it in. You can see where the top eyelid used to be for this eye, and it was way too low. Finally, let's draw the crease. Now I'm checking the inner corner of each eye. This one's a little bit low, so let's fix that. It's always a good idea to double check your measurements, but don't worry too much about accuracy because no pair of eyes are exactly the same. You can apply the same technique to match up your eyebrows, aligning your tool of choice against specific areas like the tail or eyebrow arch, for example. These eyebrows look to be about the same height, but now that I'm looking at them along a straight edge, I can clearly see that the right eyebrow is pointier looking than the left. That's another benefit that you get from putting a straight edge up against your drawing. Let's round that off a little bit to match the other side. Covering up parts of your drawing can actually help you see your drawing in a new way, exposing more areas that need improvement. For example, I just found out that the tail of this eyebrow is a little bit too narrow than compared to the one on the left. Let's work on vertical alignment now. Earlier, we found that the right eyebrow was not wide enough. Without using any tools, can you tell how much to extend this eyebrow so it will more closely match the one on the left? Using just your eyes, try drawing an imaginary vertical line that goes from the inside edge of each eyebrow all the way down. If you can't do it yet, don't worry because it does take a lot of practice, but you will be able to develop it naturally over time. The more measurements, observations, and comparisons that you make when you draw, the better. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and draw a vertical line down from the left eyebrow to see how close our eye is to the line. Now, they're about three millimeters apart. What about the right eyebrow? This one is really far in. It needs to be drawn about this far out from the eye if we want both sides of our drawing to match. Before I draw the missing eyebrow hair, I just wanna make sure that it's not drawn too high or too low. To do that, I'll need a horizontal line under the left eyebrow for reference. Now I have a clear boundary to draw my eyebrow within. Aside from horizontal and vertical alignment, you can also measure and compare parts of the drawing to see if they match in length, thickness, etc. 
So far, we've been talking about how to fix a problem that has already happened. To prevent this from happening in the first place, make measurements before drawing the second eye. Use your tool of choice to find the correct positioning for each element in your drawing. Over time, you will be able to draw imaginary lines in your head. Remember to double check and triple check your drawing for an even higher level of drawing accuracy. To check your drawing for more flaws, look at it in the mirror. This method never fails me. All right, so this drawing is still far from being symmetrical. If you have a good eye for detail, you've probably spotted a few more blaring flaws. If you don't see them quite yet, pause the video and use your tool of choice to measure the drawing on your screen, and then let me know in the comment section what flaws you found and the steps that you took to find them. The first person to find two major flaws regarding symmetry will get a shout out in the next episode. Speaking of the next episode, let me know what topic you'd like to see next using the hashtag FixMyDrawing. You can also send me a copy of the specific drawing problem that you're currently struggling with, and we'll tackle it step by step. If you want to support what I do, please hit the thumbs up button, share this video with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.